Prince and Stephen Thompson out of Rapid City. The Battle of Northwest NBA rivals produced another great game yesterday. After a triple overtime thriller in their first meeting, the Sonics and Portland Trailblazers battled down to the wire in the Portland Coliseum as we take a look. Nice welcome for Gary Payton, but the courtesy applause as Rick Adelman looks on was, gave way to real applause when the Blazers got it going as a three-pointer by Clyde Drexler. Blazers by nine after one quarter. And Rick Adelman says, hey, I know what we should do. We should run. And that's what the Blazers would do in the second quarter is Danny Ainge gets the ball ahead to Cliff Robinson, flips it back to Bryant for the slam, and the Blazers led by as many as 24. They were up by 13 and a half, 65-52. But the Sonics get it going in the second half largely because of second-year man Sean Kemp, who has really begun to assert himself. The nice spin move against Buck Williams for the jam, and Kemp gets the Sonics' offense rolling. Adelman saying, what do we have to do to stop this guy? He was very tough to stop in the second half as Kemp again, watch this, underneath has the ball tip into his hands, jams it down. Seattle leads 92-91 as they would come back from the deficit. Dale Ellis also strung down the finish, had 22 points in the contest. And the Sonics look, made a strong effort to come back and win this ball game. As again, it was Kemp inside. 17 of his 25 points in the second half as he'll push off. Williams go up and score. And the Sonics grab the lead by a point. But then Danny Ainge takes over. He hit back-to-back three-pointers, had 20 points coming off the bench. 111-107 Blazers with 146 to go. Sonics would come back and tie the game at 111 as Kemp takes a pass from Peyton and scores inside. But then... As Casey Jones points out, watch Ainge. They should have watched Porter. Porter to Drexler to Porter. You know, it's not a law firm. It's a winning combination that helps Portland take a 114-111 victory. Sonics would have a last chance with a 113-111. But Gary Payton misses off the back iron. Portland holds on for the victory. And Rick Adelman gave the Sonics a lot of credit for the way they played his team. They're really playing well. KC's really got them playing well. They're a very athletic team. And they really come at you. And they got a lot of different combinations they can throw at you. Uh, you know, they're playing very hard now. Uh, they seem to be playing well together. I think they're going to be someone you're going to have to deal with the rest of the year. Blazers improved their NBA best record to 29 and 5, 17 and 2 at home as they now embark on a five game road trip. The Sonics dropped to 14 and 16, but they've been playing very well of late. College basketball, the game doesn't change. Everyone is still.